Hello guys, welcome to another video on Juicy Tender Steak. I am Juicy Tender Steak, of course, and uh, today we're going to do a review on the Object 260, which is currently offered in the store for gold, either for 25k or 20k if you want it without anything. So, yeah. Um, Object 260, what am I going to say about the tank? I love it. I simply love the tank. Why do I love the tank? I'm going to give it to you short and... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say it short. It's just fast. It's fun to play. It's like somewhere in between a medium and a heavy. Um, somewhere where let's say the E5 was before, but now after the nerf of the E5, like this tank is much more fun to play. I would say than uh, the E5. And uh, yeah, I mean it is just fast. It doesn't have any armor. I would say the turret is actually bouncy, but like the hull is basically non armor and uh, yeah. It's fast, it has DPM, it has everything that makes a good tank, but uh, I wouldn't really recommend the tank to anyone who is not really experienced in the game. So, like, if you ask me, if you're new to the game, would you, should you buy the 260? I would say no, go get the i7. i7 is just much more noob friendly. Like, sorry, I'm, you're, I'm not calling you noobs, but like, for a new player, it is actually not easy to play it needs a really experienced player in order to make this tank work and uh yeah so let's compare it to other tanks like uh, i want i wanted to compare it against the e5 and other tank as well but like i was like uh i don't know should i compare it to all of these tanks or should i compare it to just the chinese and russian tanks which are like almost the same when it comes to the looks when it comes to stats and everything so yeah dpm as you can see it's close to 3k so it is the second best out of all of these tanks. It's much better than the i7, the i4, and the 5A, but it's of course less than the 113, which is known for its insane DPM. So yeah, when it comes to penetration on standard shells, 260, it is standard. Like there's not so much difference in between all of the tanks. So yeah, with heat, it has 312. Let's switch to heat on all of them. 113, of course, has the best penetration on heat. I think no. Oh, okay, as far as the best penetration. 312, you're kind of, you're sometimes going to struggle, especially against turrets, let's say, of the A100 and uh, mouse and something like that. 312 is kind of a struggling point uh, against uh, such super heavies, but, like, overall, I don't think you need it because, like I said, it's mobile, you're going to play it. Mostly, I would play it at, like a medium or play it on the medium side because of the mobility and because of the DPM, so you can counter the mediums really well. So yeah, Alpha has 420, uh, 113 also has 420, only the i7 and 5A have, have more Alphas, but like I said, they have longer reload, so less DPM. Rate of fire, yeah, I mean, reload is 8.4 seconds on the object uh, 260. Basically, I think what, nah, i5 had 8, now I think it has 8.4, so yeah. 8.4 seconds of reload for 420 Alpha, that is really good. Only the 113 is, of course, better with 7.3 seconds. I mean, the 113, when it comes to DPM, you shouldn't, like, compare it to anything else. It's just insane. So, yeah. Shell Velocity, it is the best. Like, Shell Velocity is really nice on this tank because it uses APCR as a standard, and the APCR has a very, very good Shell Velocity. So, yeah, you're not going to struggle on that. You're going to hit most of your shots of, like, let's say, running enemies. It shouldn't really be hard. You're going to catch them. So, yeah, aim time, same as 113. Dispersion, same as 113. This tank's, like, basically a 113, but it's just much, much more mobile with, a, I would say, less armor. Like, not much less armor, but less armor. So, yeah. The best thing that about this tank is much better than the 113 is the move uh, rotate turret dispersion. So when you rotate the tank, when you rotate the turret, it's much, much better than all of the other tanks, especially the 113. So yeah, it has a big, big advantage on 113 there. Uh, depression, as you can see, it's six degrees of gun depression, standard Russian gun depression, I would say, or even Chinese heavy tanks gun depression is like a standard um when it comes to movement this is where the tank shines uh, it's just the best out of all of them when it comes to movement it's it's simply the best out of all of them and this is what makes the tank fun to play and this is what gets me back always to this tank that i want to play it's really the speed is 47 it's not the best going forwards but the reverse speed is 20 so it is really good if you want to fall back from somewhere 20 does make a difference in comparison to 15 and 14 of the other tanks 
engine power is 1155 so it has a really really strong horsepower engine and then power to weight ratio definitely the best effectiveness is also the best in comparison to the 131 it has a little bit better to rain resistance but it's not really going to make a, a big difference but the difference that the, the most difference it makes with the mobility is the traverse speed of the stack is 30 degrees in comparison to the others as you can see they're all red almost like super red so <laughs> the traverse speed on this tank is insane camo i'm not going to talk about that i mean it's a heavy you're not going to play it camping or like yeah you know credit coefficients 140 percent so it does make credits i mean not much but it does does make credits so you're not going to lose credits i would say most of the times but you are going to make credits or you're not going to lose credits hp is 2550 much better i mean not much better better than the uh, chinese tanks but yeah almost the same as uh uh, Russian ones, it's somewhere in between, as you can see, like on the Russian tanks, 4% plus, on the Chinese, it's like minus 4%, so yeah. The weight, this tank is actually heavy, but yeah. I'm gonna take, uh, we're gonna look at the armor. The turret is strong, so yeah. 265, but like I said, 60 degrees gun depression, you're not really gonna be using the turret that much, uh, effectively. But it is gonna bounce, so you're gonna try to play it hull down, kind of, with 6 degrees, you're gonna struggle a bit, but yeah, this is gonna work, and it works really well. Um, so yeah, this is the turret armor and then the hull armor, of course, it is the worst out of all of them. Like, it's worse even than the 5A, which is, like, yeah, it is bad. So, you basically have no hull armor. Like, simply said, you have no hull armor at what angle, whatever. Like, you, you're always going to take shots with the hull. So, you always need to be careful. Hide in your hull or, like, side hugging. You can side hug the enemies because the profile of this tank is actually low, almost like the i7. I think it's a bit higher in the i7. But if you have, like, tanks like Mouse or E100 or other tanks, you can actually uh, side hug them. So it would work really well. And with the speed that you have, you can go forwards, backwards. You're going to make them mess up their shots. So, yeah. These are the stats of the 260. Now, I guess we should just go to the gameplay and see how this tank plays. Can I log into the game? Hopefully the internet is going to work and it's not going to fail me because I will have to redo the video. But yeah, I am connected to the hotspot already, so it should work. This is the 260. So, two offers, like I said, in the store. The one for um, 25,000 gold. You get a lot of goods uh, with this. I mean, to, uh, to be honest with you, you get the tank. You get five mystery boxes. You get, I mean, five camouflage, which I don't think really it's worth it. Like, it is cool, but it's not worth it. Uh, the avatar, I don't care about avatars. You get 35 times XP, which is this is a really good thing. You get the garage loss, that's standard. And then you get this order. If you win 50 battles with the 260 in 10 days, you are going to um, to get extra 5 mystery boxes. What do you get with mystery boxes? I think you get a tank, certificates, gold, and everything. Like, it's up to you. And you get all the equipment. So 5k gold extra for all of these things. That's kind of okay, I would say. Or you can get the tank. Wait, what is this? Uh, you can get um, the tank only for 20k, as you can see here. Tank and garage slot for 20k. I would go for 20k to be honest with you. I don't know. Like, I don't like mystery boxes and gambling and all of this stuff. It's not worth it. And like I said, the camo is really not worth it. I use this camo on the tank, and it's like one of the best looking tanks when I when I look at it with this camo. Uh, it is one of the best tanks. It's a shining camo, deep scars. It really looks nice. Like, the legendary camo looks kind of boring. I mean, it's okay, but it looks kind of boring a bit. So I decided to keep uh, this red deep scar camo, which looks insane on this tank. So, yeah. I think we'll get to the gameplay, or actually, let's say what I use. I use consumables, of course, adrenaline, double repair kit, that's standard. Provisions, as usual, 10% crew, 10% engine, and 3% crew. Uh, my ammo layout is this. HE, you're not really going to use much, but sometimes, like, yeah, sometimes you get a chance to use it. So, I use gun armor, um, enhanced gun lane drive, refined gun, improved modules, improved assembly, repair, I mean, toolkit, improved optics, engine accelerator, and high-end consumables. So, let's get going and see what we can do with this 260.
So, this map, we can play it like a medium, like I said. I mostly play this tank as a medium because it's fast. As you can see, man, it's like the mobility is actually insane on this tank. And I absolutely love it for the mobility that it has. It is a really good counter for mediums. Because also you have 420 alpha, 8.4 seconds of reload. And you don't have the greatest penetration. So that's why, like, the penetration is really good enough against mediums. But against heavies and stuff like that, like I said, you're kind of going to struggle a bit with the penetration. So that's why I always try to play it on the medium side. And you can see the mobility, I'm always on the same speed as the T-54. So yeah, I'm gonna take a shot maybe probably here. Ooh, they're all here already. It's okay. Managed to go through. Now we have a good position. T-54 is here. Okay. Bounce. So cool Conqueror took a lot of damage. I need to help this T-54 somehow. Hope I don't take shots from the side. Super Conqueror is already get, uh, dead, so that's good. Six degrees of depression, like I said, not the best, but yeah, it's okay. So yeah, as you can see, I'm playing it like a medium. I mean, dude, you don't have the HP. What are you doing? Just give us some space. Okay, can I shoot him before he goes? Yes. That's cool. As you can see, the backward speed is actually really good, so you can pull back really fast. The yaw now, we can shoot him in the side. And the gun is really nice, like, I don't really struggle with the gun any time, with any time, any situation. It's actually really good, it always works for me. Let's kill the T-54, okay. Talking about the gun. It's okay, I think the T-54 should get him, no? Okay, let's shoot the 50B then. Bad shots, okay, my aim is not the best now. He's gonna penetrate if he hits. Like I said, the armor is almost non-existent on this tank. Oh, come on. This wasn't a bad aim shot. I need to kill that 54. Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys, but this is RMG. This is, like, literally RMG. I can't do anything about it. Maybe we can bounce off the turrets. Okay. That if 4 is getting really annoying. Gonna pull back. Kill the 50 TV maybe. There we go. I think Grill 15 is gonna get me on this one. I will try to hide from him. I don't think this guy's gonna bounce. Okay, he has a high roll at least. Kill him now. Okay. Man, what is the RMG on this round? But yeah, the DPM works, the reload is fast, so we can still get it. It's a T92 after all. Doesn't have the best of DPMs. Steve Force, probably. Oh, here he is now. We can finally get revenge of him. There we go. Uh, teammates, it would be nice if you would like to move, maybe. So, yeah, a lot of unlucky shots, I would say, on this round. But, yeah, still managed to get it to work. I'm dead. No. Managed to hide myself. See, the turret can actually bounce shots. Cool. Now let's push on to the Grill 15. Can we get the fourth kill, maybe? Not looking at us. We should be able to get it. There we go. It's just fun to play this tank. I was very unlucky, I have to say, like against with many shots, didn't connect. But yeah, so credits, as you can see, credit-wise, 97k, it is a lot. But yeah, it is a good performing game, so that's why we get a lot of credits, 4 kills as well. So yeah. Let's go for another one. So yeah, my recommendation is how to play this tank, just try to play it on the medium side. Now we're gonna go up, although they don't really have a lot of tanks. A lot of mediums, T-5041 and a Sheridan, but we're still going to go up. All the way up to C. And yeah, look at the camel. Look, just look how nice the camel looks on this tank. This camel looks on this tank. And I try to make a blind shot. Maybe we get lucky. Who knows? 
It works sometimes. When you when we used to play Clan Wars, we always made these shots. Sometimes it actually works and you hit the enemy. So yeah. Let's push in. Put one into the Sheridan. You can see like how fast the tank moves, but you still hit the shots. We should be able to push here. Doesn't seem like there's anyone else out there, but here they count. Can I hide myself? Sheridan is a one shot now. Nice. Now we can push on these guys. As you can see, the hull armor on the enemy 260 is actually bad. I'm gonna go back now. This guy is trying to flank me, I think. I thought he made a mistake. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna bounce him. I'm gonna kill the 260, 268, and now we have a chance against this guy. Teammates are gonna come in and we're gonna be able to kill him. So yeah, armor wise, this tank is basically not armored at all. So yeah, gonna get the kill and move in. Okay, didn't get the kill. 420 Alpha, got a kind of a low roll. There's a two. Yak Panzer. So you can see the mobility of the tank. Six degrees of depression, not the best, but the mobility just makes up for everything. And the gun is also really nice, like I said. Okay, this guy should be dead. Oh, okay. I thought I would actually get the kill. That's why I peeked. It's okay, we're gonna get it. If not on the first one, on this one we will. Let's go. Maybe we can have a chance to get another shot on. Or two. Uh, I think only one is enough. On the 50 TP. Nice, let's go. 4.8k. I don't think it's gonna be an ace, but uh, yeah, another really good round to showcase the tank. The tank's strength, I'll say. Which is in the speed and the gun. So it's it's not your typical Russian heavy that is like really slow, really sluggish, and uh, with a bad gun accuracy. It is just something different. It's a Russian tank, but it's built different. So yeah. And the games go so fast with this tank, like you really don't feel them because, like I said, the speed of the tank is just insane. So yeah, this map, ooh, I mean, this map is a bit hard to play because normally I would go to the middle, like between B and C and try to get shots in. But because of the six degrees of gun depression, it's kind of limited. So let's see what we can do. Seems like our team want to go to the city. Not the best option for me, but... I would go with the team. Going alone with this tank, you're not really gonna get far. You need, like, some teammates. You don't really, like, need the whole team with you, but, like, some teammates to take the chance and distract the enemies. So, yeah. TB. Put one into the strikes. I spotted almost the whole enemy team. Round wagon. Hmm, okay, that was a slow reaction for me a bit. Hmm, Emil, okay. Hello, Emil. We can penetrate him with heat. 312 penetration of heat, but it's enough for an Emil. Not enough for a crown wagon, that's for sure. But for an Emil, it is enough. Maybe we can get a thick polos. Dude, stop priming me in the ass. Okay, let's help out the AMX here. V is dead. Important to kill a tank like the V. TB is coming in, maybe put an HE into him. There we go. Any tank has enough HE penetration against the NMX. There we go, we bounce the shots. So yeah, you casually bounce Oh, didn't see this guy coming. You casually bounce shots with this tank. Man, we got stuck with this guy, it's kind of annoying. Nice. Finally. Now we can push in. Not the best of round, but yeah. I kind of got myself in a stuck situation, like I got stuck in there, but yeah, still we can get the 3k damage maybe.
can put one into the bad shot, come on. We have the speed, we should be able to catch him to put one into him. Nice, so we got the 3k damage. Cool. Cool three rounds. To showcase what this tank can do. It can be played like heavy, but you saw like we kind of struggled there. Because we don't really have the armor, so yeah. 3.1k. Not bad at all. Okay, so there we go. This video ended fast. The games were really fast. And yeah, this is basically the 260 for you. A great tank, a fun tank to play. But like I said, I don't recommend a beginner to get the tank. I recommend like good players to get the tank. You can get it as a beginner. You can try to play it as a medium, but believe me, you're gonna. Str I struggled a lot with this tank when it for when it, when I first bought it, and I really hated the tank. But Slowly with time, after playing it for like 50 games, over 50 games, I think, I started to actually love it and I started to know how to play it. But yeah, it is a really good tank. It is an extremely good tank. I love it. It's fun. And yeah, it makes credits as well. So it is amazing. I would get the 20,000 offer instead of the 25,000. I think it's more, more uh, worth it. And then, yeah, you can get like a nice camo like this one, maybe. Or some other camos that fit the tank, which makes it look better than the legendary one. So yeah, that is the 260 for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Hope you enjoyed the review. And hope I helped you make a decision on to buy this tank or not. So yeah, have a nice day. And thank you for watching. See ya.